Welcome to sunny Scotland. Let's go. The Lamborghini has absolutely so yeah, it's just going to be turbo transport, pick it up, put it on the trailer, and we continue. Good morning and welcome to part two of the 2020 Pilotti road trip. Now the previous episode, nothing really went according to plan, which meant that today's plans got thrown into jeopardy. So I took things into my own hands and well, I'm pretty much sick and tired of being a passenger in my own car. Sam and Alex definitely aren't going to be giving up the driver's seat because I did say for the entire road trip, you can have this car to drive. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my rental Audi A1. Here we have a three pedal manual Audi that on these roads, of course, it doesn't have the same power, but I think I'm going to be flat out around every corner. I'm going to exert as much as I can out of that car. We all say that rental cars are the fastest because they're not yours. So I need to go and meet up with Sam and Alex. I've told them to meet me at a lay-by. I think they're probably going to be there any minute now. So let's jump in this, surprise them with this car, and I'm joining them on an epic drive today. What is he going to turn up in? I don't know. At least he's told us to meet in somewhere picturesque where we can sort of enjoy I'd the say, fresh air. The day is perfect. Yeah. Imagine if he turned up. In, imagine if he did something cool. I imagine know. if he was like, I just found a, a viewer and I borrowed yes. a Gallardo. That would be have, sick. He might have DM someone. Because he was doing master plotting. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. We've got a beautiful day for it. I don't really care what he turns up in for one of and ironically, the further north we're going, the drier the roads are getting, which just means my M2 is getting better and better by the minute. We're going to love life today. I'm, I'm literally, I'm so buzzing. Yeah. Like, honestly, I'm quite glad that he's not in our cars. Yeah. Because he's a bit of a, da a Debbie Downer, isn't he? Yes, oh, my, my Lamborghini. I was like, oh, yeah. stop ruining the day, man. <gasps> is this him? Oh my God, <laughs> this is him. He's in the nuke. What the <laughs> heck? What <laughs> is this? <laughs> You've got an Audi A1. Well, as Did I... Did you buy this? No, no, no. no. <laughs> um, I woke up this morning early. Right. Headed down to the old local car rental. Here we are. She rented this car. Yeah. We well, actually think it's kind of amazing. <laughs> Didn't see this coming. <laughs> well, I mean... Is it look, manual? Yeah, three Ooh. pedals. It's the return of the nuke. Oh, oh my God, the interior. <laughs> Told you. It's actually amazing. It is so nice. And you said the Lamborghini is not built for these roads, well, which I proved. How about this mini hatchback, three pedals, 114 brake horsepower, Audi A1 S line? I mean, to be fair, yes, you've smashed it. But as we were just saying today, the weather is perfect. The and front wheel drive. No, no, no. Despite how much fun <laughs> you're going to have, there is no way you're going to have more fun than me in a GTR and him in a ruined BMW M2. <laughs> Wait, that's my car. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, look, I was sick of being a passenger. I thought, come on, this is the course. I didn't actually expect to get a car this nice. <laughs> Can I ask how much you paid for this? £112. For the day? For the day. That's not bad. It's cheaper than the fuel if I was driving it's cheaper than a GTR on an M2. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And way. also, I hope to prove that really, it doesn't matter what car you're driving. Road trip's a road trip. At the end of the day, it's about having fun with friends. Sure. But having fun in GTRs and M2s. He Let's has, go, Alex. He has been working on that sales pitch, hasn't he? <laughs> go. quite like what Paul has done and, and fundamentally I was one of the people giving the hardest time for bringing that Lambo up here so to be in a little low powered hot hatch well not even a hot hatch but a hatchback it, it makes sense but there is no way today he's gonna have more fun than I am 
in this GTR. I mean, firstly, look at the weather. It is perfect today. And we all know the GTR is the supercar killer. Sorry, no matter what Paul thinks about that A1, it's just nowhere near this. And the M2, I mean, yes, you know, I do like a BMW, but Paul's ruined that car. <laughs> and all I see in my mirror is Alex bumping around on the suspension, four-wheel drive, Japanese, Nissan GTR is the winner for today. Fair play to Paul. That Audi A1 is a great little car. I'm a big Audi fan myself. I've owned an A1 before. It's comfortable and there is something to be said for having three pedals on roads like this. But come on, Paul, you are not going to convince me that that A1 is better than a BMW M2 competition in this scenario. I've got the loudest exhaust. I've got the performance suspension mods to make the handling even better. I think Sam's probably got too much power in that GTR. I can extract more from this car. I feel like I am more directly involved in the driving experience with the rear wheel drive. I just think it's the best car for these roads and for this trip. I've got the best view in the house. I'm sat behind my two cars on this beautiful road. I'm behind the wheel. I was sick of being a passenger yesterday. And it's manual, it's a beautiful size. And obviously, it being a rental car, I can keep my right foot flat throughout the entire day. Feel like I'm getting the most out of the car and having a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong, those cars in front have got all of the performance that you need to make this day absolutely awesome. But the fact that I'm driving and not a passenger is all we really need. So, oh. I can hear the turbo whizzy. Hi, Paul. <laughs> this is so quick. I've got about 400 miles in there. Don't be cocky. No, no, no. Get fuel. No. Genuinely, I think that car will be efficient enough. It's got an efficiency mode if needed. But you're the sucker in this. Not my you problem. You say I'm the sucker. Not this is your car. You do know that, right? Not my problem. It <laughs> <laughs> literally is. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. Seeing both of them on the road wearing, like, the plates, in that, I get the best view. I've got, got the most, to be fair, you've got a pretty good view. Yeah. Whether you can keep up with us long enough to enjoy <laughs> the view is the question mark. Also, I am convinced we're going to get to the end of the day and you're going to be out of petrol and there'll be no fuel to get. Well, I've got it's a not a... that good on, come on. I've got a plan for today. So once you've filled up, right. uh, follow me. Okay. And when we get to the location, I've got a bit of a challenge. Oh no, I know you and your challenge. these plans together I was not expecting to have this weather I mean never thought this weather <laughs> in winter in Scotland I mean it's like Spain <laughs> the roads are amazing I kind of felt like I was in Canada at some point yeah, I know very autumnal and how good were the roads oh, incredible I mean I yeah. said it to myself and I'll say it again I actually am quite glad the Lamborghini didn't make it as well because <laughs> I think you would have refused I think you would have said no we're turning around I would have probably parked it down that way somewhere it wouldn't have made it up to this point well I barely made it up to this <laughs> particular point I don't know what this road is but so this is why we are here right I kind of assumed as much because those three cars, whilst they all offer something different to the driver, especially the Audi A1, um, we're going up there. Where? Right up there. specifically said before we even went on this trip that the roads here are not built for the Lamborghini you need to bring a different car well I've got a different car now oh you are so taking this <laughs> way too far so we're going to be starting at the bottom 
and it right. is a time trial with all of the road speed limits, road restrictions in place. It is the fastest person to the top. I Basically, mean, we're going to be trying to manoeuvre around traffic. I mean, this is a challenge that really only you can win. Exactly. Oh, God. I will still try and win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you will. I'm just going to be terrified the whole way up. God damn it. Right, having driven this road before, I know it is not the right road for this car because this car needs space, it needs length because there's no getting away from the fact it weighs nearly two tons. Right, one, two, three, let's go. He's gone, that is him. He is off. And you can hear him. I now can't see him on my screen. The next time you see him is on the third to last corner. It's not about speed today, Sam. Calm it with the speed. It's all about being fluid, being smooth, being safe, and a bit of luck with no traffic hopefully coming the other way. <laughs> we're going to get a pretty good idea as to whether he's going to face oncoming traffic because we're on the road. So at if a moment, car comes past, good. at the moment, he's got a clear run, which means he's going to be fairly quick. The one thing which I think I've got on my side, four-wheel drive, which should help launch me out of some of these hairpins. But I've got to be so careful coming around them just in case it's a big old camper van. Okay, no camper van, come on, grip up, grip up, let's go, let's go! Whoa, too fast, <laughs> it's so sketchy. No, that's no. him! He's got a clear run. Bumpy's part of... <laughs> okay, freaking heck. Okay, it's gonna be a good time, people. It's gonna be a good time. Handbrake! Handbrake! What? 123. That felt good! You got a clear That felt so good! Yes! <laughs> now look what you oh. could have had! <laughs> that, that's what you could have had! Oh, hey, I mean, it's not about luck! It's about intuition, feeling, the spirit of the GTR. <laughs> <laughs> it's so scary though. No? Right, we are at the start line. I'm going to give them the signal. The run looks clear at the moment. Three, two, one. We are off on a stop start. <laughs> oh, the road is bumpy. I'm not even going to look there because there's a huge drop. I love it if you get take this. I did it! And there's just no fun end. <laughs> oh no, this is not what I wanted. Now there's a pickup truck coming down. I don't think there's any more passing. Yes, there is. There's one more passing place. Oh, I just sneak in. Okay, in. Now you hurry up and get past. Come on. There he is. Here he comes. He's in sight. To be fair, that's a good place for him to find the cyclist. Agreed. Oh, I've, got a oh, I've got a head on with the cyclist now. Let's let him go past slowly. Oh my god. Calm down, Alex. And, and stop. stop. <laughs> a 145.7. Oh, it was, the stop start killed it. There was cyclists. I was dealing with head ons with cyclists. <laughs> I, I went punchy and made someone wait on a hairpin for me. I had a near head on with a pickup truck. I think my time was good considering. We saw the cyclists and we were like. <laughs> wow, okay, well, one of them, you made it up and look. Front splitter. Is it still there? Still intact. Let me just inspect before I add on any seconds. Uh, don't, yep. don't feel underneath, that's fine. So, the challenge is on. GTR versus A1. Oh! The bar has been set. And considering that I was the one that really mocked you the most about the Land Rover, that you should be in something like this, it's kind of going against myself if you lose. <laughs> and have you noticed how quiet it is as well? Oh, come on, where are those cyclists now? Off you go, son. Right, air conditioning off, drive select, dynamic, launch control start, honk the horn three times and go. Bit of wheel spin and we are away. He can't beat your time, surely. 
Sure, like, I'm genuinely intrigued, like, because if he has a completely clear run, the, the speed he can carry... That's true. It's all about consistency. Instantly, I feel like I'm on a rally stage, second gear. I don't need to go faster than the speed limit. First hairpin, flick it in. The steering's so light on the Audi, there really isn't anything to worry about. Keep my foot flat to the floor. Super comfortable. This is where Sam said it's bumpy. Absolutely not. Coming around the second to last bend. Oh my god, this no! Four, two, what? Six, seven, what is going on? How quickly stop. has he taken those I just, corners? Saw one, I just saw him on three wheels. Are you kidding me? Easy peasy! I might need first gear for this one. I'm gonna have first gear for this one. And I feel like RG able to turn out the racing driver! <laughs> What do you think you did? Fast? Just tell me what you think you did. About, a, I reckon if you did a 127, like a 120... I did 123. Oh, well, there or thereabouts. You did a one minute. Yeah. 15. What? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> GTR by nearly 10 I'm, sh <laughs> I'm shaking. Why, I'm why do we ever buy sports cars? What is the what point? We, what is the point? <laughs> Sell everything. I mean, just buy an Audi A1. I can't believe that. <laughs> what I, we've done is annoy more people with the noise and spend more money on fuel. <laughs> you saw him come out of the corner at 46 seconds and I went, no. <laughs> <laughs> you were on three wheels with that hair. <laughs> I mean... Oh my god. That's like the biggest adrenaline rush ever. <laughs> and to think, I was pooping myself and really not having a good time. <laughs> he just got stuck in traffic. <laughs> and you were having the best time ever. But you know what? We do say this on road trips quite a lot. That we would have just as much fun in something like a hot hatch. When we it's drive. not even a hot hatch! <laughs> it's just a hatch! Okay, well it proves my point that it doesn't matter about the car that you're driving. I mean, I'm going to lunch <laughs> Sam, come back, come back, because what a fitting way to end this incredible 48 hours. And you know, you say, you know, and it doesn't always matter about the car, but I think we've all loved our cars. That's the important yeah. thing. Yes. It doesn't matter. We, you know, we all have enjoyed our experience. I love coming up that road in the GTR. I've loved driving that GTR non-stop. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'm using about 20% of his capabilities. <laughs> Clearly, you're using 100. You're fine. Yeah. Alex, I'm not sure because he's a sideways every day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could not have been better. When you think about organizing a road trip, spending so much time doing it, and then getting the weather, the roads, the cars. Oh, yeah. Cars like this? Yeah. I mean, Josh nearly <laughs> died. <laughs> Finish That's lines back here, guys. Yeah. 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 Did, I anyone, did anyone time him? They came, they came <laughs> up the hill. It was a female driver. She just came up in about 45 seconds. <laughs> Unreal. I mean, this place is amazing. It's stunning to think that we are still in the United Kingdom. Yeah. I look at my phone, I'm like, we're still on the same time zone as London. Yeah. Yeah. And that is crazy. And, uh, well, thank you for having us. I, yeah, well, I mean, it's been my pleasure, but massive thank you to Pilotti for allowing us to create this kind of magical adventure. Because without them, this wouldn't have happened. Of course, and without your Lambo going up in smoke, <laughs> we never would have learned how good an Audi A1 is. Because you would have not worn that in your Lambo. <laughs> yeah. No! I mean, you, would, you would have done a four-point turn coming out of the hairpin. <laughs> 6,000 miles between the three cars, a journey that started out as one plan and became another. The perfect summary of a road trip with friends. It's the unknown adventure, the thrill and the memories, and to be able to do this on roads like these in 2020 gave us an overwhelming sense of freedom that we've missed this year. We had so many moments where we really had to pinch ourselves with what was happening. Pilotti themselves are pure petrol heads with a passion for helping us all explore the open roads and our combined love for road trips made this whole project possible. Pilotti's Instagram page really is a home for petrol heads and a place I urge you all to visit. And I hope that in the future, we can all pick up our keys, jump in our cars and enjoy the open road again. Who knows what 2021 will bring, but thank you all for your support throughout this journey, and I wish you a safe and healthy rest of the year. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.